Hey guys, it's John from Chaotic Commander, and today I am joined with my good friends uh, Dylan and Corey from the Earth Cast, and a special guest we have again, Skyler from Crowd Control MTG. Um, I will go ahead and lead. So uh, my deck is a newly built Lord of the Nazgul. The whole thing is to do cheap instants and sorceries, to create a bunch of wraith tokens, and um, make them big and kind of go wide and go high and swing. That's basically it. All right, Corey, take it away. What's going on, guys? It's Corey from the Earthcast, and today I'm playing Brina, the demagogue. It's all about everyone's favorite people in life, politicians. So I'm gonna politic yeah. the table, let you guys draw cards, let me get some counters, make it a winner, everybody. All right, next up we have Skylar from Crowd Control MTG. <clears throat> Hi guys, it's good to be back again. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm gonna be playing Megas Lucia Kane. Uh, all X spells all the time, whether they be creature, instant sorcery, it doesn't matter. They're in here, and uh, or you here. might want to set your commander up there. Oh, all right, sure, sure. And last but not least, we have Dylan. Yo, how's it going, guys? Dylan from the Urcast, and today we are playing one of my favorite commanders, honestly. Uh, Raynar the Ever Watchful, so this is all about exiling and flickering to make spirit tokens, and this deck is just pure flying tribal with some fun exiling shenanigans. All right, we have already resolved mulligans and have randomized play orders, so I will go first. I but will. before we get into that, today I want to introduce a company we have recently become affiliated with, Vault X. Now they make cheap, affordable, budget... Uh, card game products. So right here I have their, uh, this is their budget deck box. It comes with 150 sleeves and a divider. Um, sleeves are pretty nice and this is, you know, PVC plastic, but for 12 bucks you get this. It holds 150 uh, sleeved cards, over 100 double sleeved cards, and it comes with 150 sleeves. And then we have this nicer um, deck box as well. For like $14 it holds over a hundred single sleeved cards um so as you can see i've got my lord of nazgul deck in here it's got a nice magnet that holds it on look i'm shaking it it's not budging it's not budging so this one is 14 bucks it's pretty nice and this is 12 dollars, and it is very good for the price especially if you count the sleeves and the divider um so if you are interested in getting some budget products, definitely use the code CHAOTICMTG on Amazon. You can check the link in the description below. First, Thank you. I will draw for turn. All right. I will start off with a command tower. Tap that for a ponder. Okay. Look at the top three. Put them in back. In Going order. first and a turn one play. I think John rigged this game. Of course <laughs> I did. And then... I will place one at the top, or I can just put them in any order, and then draw a card, and then I will pass the turn. All right, I'm going to draw a card as well. Uh, I'm going to see your command tower, John. I'm going to raise you a command tower. Damn. Oh. But oh, no. mine's going to come with a little presence of a soul ring. Oh. All right. That's gross. Turn one, uh, soul ring. That I will pass. Fantastic. I am going to take my draw for turn. That helps me out so much. Uh, I will not be playing a command tower. Instead, I'm going to be playing a copper line gorge. Untapped because I control two or fewer other lands. And I will pass the turn. Oh, uh, yeah. Watch this. Everyone's favorite play, a planes. And I'll pass. Ooh. The command tower of a monocolor white deck. Tap and draw. I will play an underground sea as my land for turn. I will tap it for blue for a birthday escape. I draw a card and the ring tempts me. I'll draw and then the ring, the whole mechanic. I have no creatures, so I just get tempted. And then I will pass. All right. Let's go ahead and untap. Um, I'm going to put out a planes for turn. Uh, look at him. Uh, I'm, gonna me. 
I'm gonna do you one better though. I'm gonna tap my soul ring for an Orzov signet. Then I'm going to pay into the signet for a white and a black and one, and I'm gonna bring out Brina the demagogue. Do you pay for so a mystic? Uh, <laughs> no, never. <laughs> uh, that's a one three flyer. Whenever a player attacks one of my opponents, if they have not the lowest life, they get to draw a card, and I get to put two one one counters on a creature I control. And then I'm gonna pass. All right, on tap up keep, I'll take that for draw. Set you right there. I'm gonna play an island. And with that island and copper line, Gorge, I'm gonna play a mage right stone. And then I will pass the turn. All right. I am going to play an island for turn. And then I'm just going to go ahead and foretell this card and pass. All right. I will untap. I will draw for turn. I will play Swamp as my land for turn. Um, I will. I guess I will just tap three. For a Nazgul. So one, two with Death Touch. Whenever it ETBs, it ring tempts me. And I will get make it the ring bearer. And then whenever the ring tempts you, put a plus one, plus one counter on each Wraith I control. I can have up to nine. So I have oh, so eight. that's why they perforated it. Yes, that is that is why, yes. Uh -huh. and Interesting. I, I will pass return. Alright. I'm gonna untap. Draw. I'll we'll play a plane, or I'm sorry, a swamp. Um, then I'm going to tap for three. I'm going to bring out a spectral searchlight. It's a simple mana rock, but I can tap it in gift you a colored mana as i please nice um and then i'm going to tap for three more and we're going to do it again for victory chimes which also lets me gift colorless mana uh but it untaps on each other tap step Nice. Very nice. Um, yep, there's our group hug politics deck. Yes. And then your mask school has death touch, but not flying, right? That is correct. I'm going to hit you for one, John. I will one take in the one. air. I will take one. <clears throat> and then I'll pass her. All right. No. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Play a land for turn as a forest. On that, I am going to probably become a target. Uh, copper line for red, an island, and a forest. I'm going to play Animar, Soul of Elements. Mm, that's not your commander? That is not my commander. <laughs> I prefer Magus, actually. Okay. Protection from black and white, right? Yes. Oh, protection from half my deck. <laughs> protection from all of Corey's deck. Yep. And protection uh, from half of John's. Well, at least I'm flying, so... Yeah, yeah, that's true. For now. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, on that note, I am going to pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. I'll play a planes for turn. And then I'll tap three for uh, Haunting Imitation. <clears throat> so each player will, will reveal the top card of their deck. And for each creature revealed, I get to make a 1-1 one, one spirit flying copy of that creature. If those uh, creatures are all revealed, I, this returns to my hand. I'll respond. I'm just going to force a wheel that. Pay a life, an exile, counter spell. Why? Because I don't want to lose cards on my deck. Man. You don't <laughs> lose it. Yeah. yeah, I'm still doing it. 
It stays. It, it stays on top of your deck. I'm sorry. I, I already did it. No take backs. <laughs> John, because I'm happy with you, I'm going to give you one colorless mana. Like honestly, <laughs> it's not even because it was my spell. That is literally just like a waste of a force of will. I have like a thousand. No, because you're fun. angering me. I'm going to give John a blue mana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's my turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that the mana phases out, and my my victory traps untaps. So I'll play a snow covered island as my land for turn. Um. Uh, will you give me another colorless mana? Um. Yes, if you attack with your Nazgul, which will benefit you anyways, because you'll draw a card. You attack one of the other two. Yes, I'll do that. Enjoy your colorless mana. So I'll tap five using the colorless from Corey to get out Lord of the Nazgul. Um, so I will move toward combat and I will swing my two. I will just go ahead and send my Nazgul at Inazuna for two damage. Jesus. I'll okay. trigger um, sir. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yep, you'll draw a card, and I'll put two 1-1 counters on so I'll draw, my Brina. And then I will discard Ring Race. And then I will you know, pass the turn. Of all the freaking packs that I've opened of Lord of the Rings, I have not pulled a Ring Race or a Nazgul. Even though they're allegedly uncommon? Yeah. yeah. I have only opened up three packs, and I only got one good thing out of any of them. I'm going to play a planes for turn. <clears throat> and then I'm going to. Was there a brain to trigger off that? Off of what? I don't know. Doesn't it trigger off attacks? Am I crazy? Yeah, yeah you would draw a card. I drew a card and then I put two 1-1 one -one counters on a creature I control. Okay. I'm going to put Victory Chimes into my Orzhov Signet. So floating a white and a black. Oh, so, so I should have got another draw, right? Yeah, I'll bring the draw. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll draw. I'm going to tap for another white and bring out a Ghostly Prison. Oh, fun. <laughs> um, going to combat. Skylar, you are the only one that will trigger Brina right now, so I'm going to swing at you. Okay. Uh, before damage is dealt, it'll trigger Brina. So Brina will be five in the air, and I'm going to draw a card. Five in the air? Yep. I only bring up commander damage because this is probably my only deck that it matters in. Already. All right, and then I will pass turn, and on your untap, my victory chimes will also untap. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. Now I'll play my command tower, and. I'm going to pay three and I'm going to cast Kelpie Guide. That's the one Anything? that lets you draw when you cast an instant, right? Or... No, this is the one that lets me tap to untap another target permanent I control or tap a target permanent I control if I control eight or more lands. Okay. Uh, on cast, I get a counter on Animar. And then I will pass the turn. All right. Oh, you should have attacked. You would have gotten some love out of Brina. That's all right. Uh, we'll play an island and we'll tap for four to try to get Raynar out. 
Oh, he's, he's not needlessly countered? I'll pass. <laughs> oh, the salt is real in this one. Okay, I'll untap. I will draw for turn. Just... I mean, you literally wasted one of the best counter spells in the game on literally one of the worst cards in my deck. I've got, <laughs> I've got more. I don't understand why you're so upset. Um, hmm. <laughs> for damn, I kind of don't want to do this right now. Okay, I guess I'll just tap three for a ring sight. The ring tempts me, oh. so I go up to three. So I get another plus one counter on my Nazgul, and I get another Wraith token. And then I search my deck for a <coughs> card that shares a color with my command, a legendary creature I control, which is Lord of the Nazgul. I put it in my hand and then shuffle, shuffle. Um, I want... <coughs> Oh, I know what I was going to put in this deck, and I didn't do it beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, I need a Rising of the Day in this deck. I've got, like, six of them. I'll go ahead and get a Brainstorm. Sure, why not? <coughs> okay. <coughs> now. So if the Ring Bear becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller sacrifices at the end of combat. Very nice. Um. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we'll tap for blue. Cast brainstorm. Draw three. Put two back. Anybody got a mana type? <laughs> three. Oh wait, that wouldn't work. Oh. So I will put, um, I'll put these two back. So I will get another wraith token. So two, three, three wraiths. <coughs> um, I will play. Did I play land for turn? I did not. <clears throat> I'll play Dark Slick Shores. It'll come in tapped. I will move to combat. Um, I will swing. Now, just putting this in your brain. Mm. If you swing for Dylan and only Dylan, it triggers Brina. Which would get you an extra card. But I could also swing for you, right? Swing at you. Well, Brina yeah. only uh, triggers when you attack one of his opponents. Yeah, but I would be attacking you. And him. So... Yeah, but you can't pay for Ghostly Prism. Oh, right, 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 right. All right, so... Ah, Damn, that sucks. It's good to be the king. Is it? <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> um, okay, so... What I'm gonna do... Is I will swing my ring bearer... <clears throat> at... Crowd Control MTG. And then I will swing Lord of the Nazgul at Dylan in the air. So, How big is the ring bearer? So he is a 3-4 with a death touch. And can't be blocked by creatures with higher power. And whenever it, it, uh, whenever you block it, um, you have to sacrifice it at the end of combat. Whatever you blocked it with. Mm. I'll right. just take the 3. How big is... He's a 4-3. Four, 4-3? Three. Four, three. Yes. I'll put two counters on Brina and you'll draw a card, John. So I'll Off draw, the and then I will draw for the thing and discard. Yeah, I'll take the four. Um, I will go ahead and I'll discard. Well, John. Go for the throat. And then I will just pass the turn. On, on your instep, because I'm so proud of you, my disciple, I'll gift you a colorless mana. <laughs> so then I'll tap. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I'll put out a study hall as my land for turn. Hmm.
Okay, yeah. I'm gonna tap for three and three black. I'm gonna bring out Necropolis Regent. Uh, it's a six five flyer. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I put that many one one counters on it. All right. Um, you're one creature that's untapped, John. That has flying or no? So this is two three three wraiths with menace. So I have two of them. Oh, okay. But they um, do not have flying. Okay. Simply for parody's sake, I'm going to swing Brina at you. Okay. In response, okay. I'm going to deadly rollick your Brina. Okay. Um, I still, on the declare attack trigger, technically get the counters <laughs> and draw, so I'll at least draw the card. Okay. So I'll get then, another Wraith token. Brina will go to the command zone. Yeah, I heard they pay well. <clears throat> Um. <laughs> and then on my second main phase, I'm going to tap for two and a black. And I'm going to cast Cunning Rhetoric. Uh, whenever an opponent attacks me or a planeswalker, I control. I exile the top card of that player's library, and then I can play it for as long as it remains exiled using any mana as if it were any color. Uh, All, right. I will untap. All right. Um, I your terms will untap. Fantastic. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. Play a mountain for turn. Uh, let's see here. She'll cost one less. And you know what? I'm going to do it. Paying three because she costs one less thanks to Animar. On cast, I'll get to put a plus one, plus one counter on Animar. Uh, any responses? No, no, no. Me, I no. think we're good. All right. Um, hmm. 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 Let's see. Oh, shoot. I missed a ring wraith trigger. That's fine. What's the ring wraith trigger? I'm curious. It just uh, when I the ring tempts me, I return it to my hand. Ah, but it's not a may ability, so I'm going to go ahead and return it to my hand. That would have changed how I discarded earlier, actually, but it's fine. Hmm. I will pass the turn. Not attacking yet. All right. <laughs> On to draw. Uh, I will use <clears throat> Raynar to foretell that card for free. And since the card was exiled, I will get a spirit token. I will then pay two to behold the multiverse. So I'll scry two and draw two. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. And then I'll draw these two cards. And then Reflecting Pool is land for turn. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Uh, I'll tap for three for Empyrean Eagle. So other creatures I control with flying get plus one, plus one. Ooh. Okay. And I will move to combat, and I will swing for three in the air at John. Sure, I'll take three. So it got vigilance. It has vigilance. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I'll pass. Oh, untap. Okay, and then I will draw for turn. Okay, cool. Okay, I will tap a blue for a preordain. Scry two, draw a card. So I will get a fourth wraith token, bringing my total to six. So scry two, then draw a card. Mm, I will leave these both at the top. I will draw for two, or draw. Then I will play a dismal backwater tapped. I will gain one life. Um, hmm. 
have enough for this. Corey, how generous are you feeling? Mm, what's in it for me? I will leave you mostly alone, actually. I mean, I don't think you could not leave me alone at this point. Um, I could. Um, okay, so what I'll do, so I can use, I will just <clears throat> move towards combat. Um, at the beginning of combat, I'm going to tap Kelpie Guide to untap a permanent I control. Sure. I'll untap my mountain. Okay. <laughs> um, I will swing Lord of the Nazgul at Inazuna, Dylan, and then I will swing my three four death touch also at Dylan. So. Hey, Dylan. Yeah? I'm gonna help you. Sounds good. I've been Dude, getting bullied okay. this entire well, game hey, for no reason. I've got, Henry. I've got an attack trigger, so I'll draw one. I'll go discard. ahead and get your attack trigger. I'll discard Ring Wraith. Okay. On attack, I'm gonna pay three. I'm gonna beast within your ring your ring bearer. No, you're not. I'm gonna counter squall. My oh you my oh you can't. He's got Oh um, Ward. Indestructible, isn't he? No, he's got ward because oh no, he doesn't. E either way, I'll uh, counter squall. Uh, so I'll counter that, and you lose two life. I lose two life. Yes. I and tried, I, Dylan. I'm sorry. I get a fifth ring rate. Huh. So now I am at. I respect seven, the effort, though. I'm at what? Seven, seven rates. Yes. All right. Uh, how big is your ring bearer? So he's a three four. And then the three, four. So you'll take okay. eight. No, no. no. I'll, <laughs> I'll block your commander with the spirit and I'll take three. Okay, cool. Uh, sure. Okay. And then I guess I will just go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. I, I tried, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why he's focusing me so much. I'm not doing anything. Um, well, you attacked me last turn, really, is what it is. Oh, oh, yes, because you haven't attacked me and didn't counter my spell for no reason. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you just leave me alone, I'll focus on other players. I can do that for you, bud. <clears throat> I mean, I got, I gotta, I mean, I have ways, I just gotta, it's annoying dealing with sleeve Corey's uh, board right now. I'll get there, it's just... Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna bring Brina out. No, um, you're not. Can... So I'm gonna glorious gale it. Oh, Are you? God. Oh no. <laughs> so uh, it is a legendary. So I will be tempted by the ring. So I am maxed out, and I'll get a sixth Nazgul. <laughs> so now, um, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, each opponent loses three life. So I don't even need to attack Corey anymore to kill him. <clears throat> well, in that case, I'm going to say I'm for two and two whites. I'm going to cast Citadel Siege. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to choose Cons, which is at the beginning of combat on my turn. I put two 1-1 one -one counters on target creature I control. So I'm going to toss those on my Necropolis Regent as I go to combat. And John, I'm going to swing at you for eight in the air. Eight in the air? Yep. Sure. I will take all eight. Okay. When it deals combat damage, it's going to gain eight 1-1 one -one counters. Okay. Going up to uh, 16, 15 total. Then I'm going to pass. And I'll take my victory chimes. All right. Untap, I'll untap Kelpie Guide. Draw. Play a forest return. Now. Okay, here's where math gets fun. <laughs> I'm going to tap Kel uh, Megas here. Float two colorless. Her ability says the next X spell I cast. Uh, 
I get to copy it on cast if it's a creature and whatnot. So we'll do that. I'm going to use one of the floating to tap Mage Right Stone to untap Magus Lucia Cane. Do it again. Floating two more. And then I will tap Kelpie Guide to untap her and do it one more time. I currently have five floating colorless. And three instances of her ability on top of the mana. I will... Wait, now before you cast something, mm -hmm. I'm willing to give you one colorless mana, which would essentially be three colorless mana into your X with copies, <clears throat> if it doesn't target me. It will not target you. Here we go. I gift you a colorless. Sweet. I have six colorless. And then... Wait, why, why is she supposed to be tapped? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Six, six, I have 12 accessible. And you know what? We're going to do it this way. I will... Two... Cards in hand, John. Uh, I'll have five because Ring Wraiths comes back to my hand because of Glorious Gale. So I have five cards in hand. Okay. I'm going to put ten into X. And I'm going to cast Primordial Hydra. Any responses? Nothing for me. All right. I'm assuming nothing from John either. Mm, yes, oh, you're good. Dylan? Okay. I got nothing. So, I the interesting... Like I can afford a force of will. <laughs> <laughs> interesting thing. So, there was three instances of her ability on the field. Or on the Ogner. I get three copies. I'm using fractals. But I get three copies of Primordial Hydra. On cast, I get one counter on Animar. And they are all 10-10s. Ten yep. Sure. Oh, next I'm... Ex oh, wait, wait. Nobody else is playing red except me. <laughs> Nobody else can blast act. And that, that's going to move me to combat... Oh, I missed a trigger on Magus from earlier. Oh, well. Uh, I will put a plus one, plus one counter on Animar from Magus' ability. I forgot about that last time around, too. But that's okay. Um, and that's going to actually pass. I'm not going to do anything on that. All right. All righty. Math is fun. <laughs> uh, prairie stream is land for turn. I will foretell that for free. Get another spirit. Uh, I'll move to combat. And I'll swing for three at John and two at... Uh, crowd control. Sure, I'll take the three. Okay, I'll take the two. And with that, I will pass. Okay, I will untap. Okay, I will draw. Oh no, that's shit. Okay, that's a good um, okay, one. Okay, four. For a moth or Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant, a mass orcs one, and creature tokens I control have death touch. I got one of those in my human deck. Yes, yes. 
So, <clears throat> all right. You know what I need? A fling. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have six Menace Death Touch Wraiths. Um, and protection from ring bears. Okay, so I will go ahead and I am going to swing all. So I now have. What's this? Six, eight. Eight. Gross. Okay. I'm going to swing six, three, three minutes death touch at crowd control. Then I'm also going to sing my three, four ring bearer death touch at crowd control. He cannot be blocked by creatures with high power. Right. So then I will have my attack trigger. So I'll draw one, discard one. I'll discard ring rates. So six three threes and another three four. Yes. So it'll be so 18, 19, 21. Yeah, 21. Yep. And there you go. Then I have some blue mana left. I will just pass the turn there. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Each of you lose three life because he dealt damage to someone. Okay. I'm at four. Wait, who dealt damage? I'm at 30. My, my ring bearer. Oh, right, right. All right, I will untap. it. Draw. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to play a Cave of Koilos as my land for turn. Uh. Well, I might not be able to to win this one, but it was a lot of fun getting to cast a lot of crap. Yeah, no, it's like... Honestly, I, I don't know why I got targets so heavy in the early game because we know Corey's just trying to set up defenses to make us fight each other so he can get the win. Well, well you did win three the last two game whites by going infinite. To play Sun Scorch Regents, it's a four three flyer. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, it gets a one one counter and I gain life. Um, going to combat, I'm gonna throw two counters onto my Necropolis Regents from my Citadel <clears> Siege. <throat> I mean, I could take Skylar out right now. Well, if you... But where'd the fun be in that? Exactly. John's got a flyer. Dylan's got a flyer. Hmm. John, I'm going to try and... I'm going to see... See, so you test your metal here real quick. Your Lord of Nazgul just is flying, right? No death touch or anything like that? No, he doesn't have death touch. Okay, I'm going to swing at you for 18 in the air. Yeah. 18 in the air. No trample, huh? No trample. Dang, 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 dang. I'll take the 18, I guess. I'll go down to 7. Okay, this... On the on the damage, just gonna trigger Necropolis Regent, so he's going to gain eighteen plus one plus one counters, bring him up to a total of thirty plus one plus one counters. Thirty. Um. Second main phase. We'll go ahead and pass. One second. I'm tapping my victory chance. All right, my turn. Untap. John in the crosshairs. <laughs> Draw. What did I get? Oh, uh, prior to draw. I double all of the counters. 
they go from 1010s to 2020s. Very nice. I'm just going to put... <laughs> They're all 2020. <laughs> Makes it so much easier. And then I'll get my draw. And let's see here. And they've got trample oh. now, don't they? Actually, um, so there would have been four additional put into, or three additional put into them from Animar. So they should be 26, 26s. They would have been 13, 13s on cat uh, when they entered. Yeah. I will fix that. There we go. They're 26, 26s. I'm going to play a land for turn. It's a Yavamaya Coast. I'm going to do the same thing over again. I'm going to pay. Uh, I'm going to tap, float two, use one, pay it to untap Magus, do it again. Float two more, putting me at three. Tap Kelpie Guide to untap. Do it one more time. Going to five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect. And I'll offer you the same deal if you'd like. Uh, <laughs> and it's not something that targets. Hmm. Is it something that will deal damage to, say, a Dylan? A guy named Dylan out there. Unfortunately, it will not deal damage. Nah, I'll pass them. <laughs> you can keep your mana, though. That yeah. way... Last uh, time, that yeah. didn't work so well. Um, for, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I'm going to use the 5. Plus 7. So, that's 12. 4 into X three times. Casting Astral Cornucopia. What, is, what kind yeah. of spell is that? I'm sorry. It's an artifact. Okay. It's an artifact X spell. Hmm. Well, on the cast, I'm going to gain a life, and I'm going to put a counter on the hey, course region. Give me a colorless mana. Don't do yeah. it. Okay, I'm going to cast Saruman's Trickery. I'm going to counter that spell. I'm going to mass Orcs one. And then I suggested I'm, not to do it. I'm going <laughs> to die anyways, and then I'll get another Wraith. And now all my Wraiths are 9 nines with Death Touch. Yeah, the thing is, though, if that's you why had, I suggested not to do it. If you hadn't done that, though, I think you had enough damage on board to he has enough kill damage at least to kill two us. of us. He has enough damage to Me? kill us all, anyways. Yeah. Uh, none of them have trample. What do you mean? Don't they all have trample? No. It's only as a ten or more plus one plus one counters, right? Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh. They. Yeah. I forgot him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I, I mean, I, 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 I mentioned that. <laughs> Yeah, no, you've got you did, tramplers. You? <laughs> like you could have taken oh, out wow. Corey and one other person. I I I apologize. I mean, you still you didn't pass yet, so. Um. So. I yeah. Like, yeah like if yeah, if you had held yeah, up I, four mana, you could have killed Corey. I could have. Yes. No, that's um, okay. Hmm. Well, John. Yes. All of your things are nine nines. Uh, just this, and this. Just that one. Well, these two and are that nine. one. Yeah. Okay. So, I send two your way. You'll die. Yeah. So I'll block with my death touchers. So I'll at least kill them. Uh, not sending the original at you. Um. And you know that's what that's all I'm gonna kill. You're not trying to end the game? I am not trying to win the game. Why? I play for fun. Someone's Winning isn't win. always fun to me. It's about the friends and you then, make up the way, John. And then I am going to pass the turn. Right. Oh, and a counter from Megas onto the Animar because I have to. Let's <clears throat> out. Uh... The car that makes our things die when we deal damage to you, is that a creature or... I'm sorry? Like, you got a thing that makes our creatures die when they deal damage to you, right? 
Um, I've got a ghostly prison, and I've got one that makes you exile the top card of your library. They're both enchantments. Okay, exile the top of the library. Oh, I'm sorry, John. On your counter spell, I do gain one life and put a counter on. Sounds worse, Richard. All right. Uh... <clears throat> So, I'll move to combat. Uh, I can die. I, I'm happy. See, my goal is always to take out the host. Uh, <laughs> Turn it into an Urcast pod with just the two guys. All right, a true so pod. I'll swing three at crowd control okay. and four at Corey. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna have to pay, well, you're swinging one keeper, right? Sorry. That me? Uh, no, I'm swinging two at you, so I'm paying the four. Okay, and then you're also gonna exile the uh, top two cards from your library, yep. and I get the opportunity to cast them. All right. Island and Augury Raven. Uh, okay. So Island, obviously, I can't cast. The Augury Raven, hang on. Because I can cast it whenever. As long as it's in exile. So just put them in exile. Yeah. Um, let's see. I don't do anything, right? No. It's just, it's more like a pillow fort effect. Okay. Okay, and you're swinging at me with your Ethereum Eagle and a 1-1 Flyer? Uh, it's a 2-2, two, two, thanks to the eagle. How much is the eagle? Uh, the eagle is a 2-3. I'm going to block the eagle with my 6-5 flyer. All right. And then I will take 2. Yep. Dropping down to 37. Sorry that I took you out, John, but I had to. <laughs> And I'm That'd probably dying this turn, so I'll pass turn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to untap. Draw. I think we're both dying this turn, to be honest. Yeah, I should have <sighs> did the other play I was going to do, honestly. I think Dylan might live because he can't give that guy trample, right? <clears throat> I have no idea, John. Four. It depends on what happens here. <laughs> uh, he's, you're Fair probably enough. definitely dying. Unless you can poop out okay. a flyer. We're going to bring Brina back out. Um, Dylan, I'm going to swing at you for six in the air. Skylar, I'm going to swing at you for 36 in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Megus just blows up. Her head implodes. All right. Uh, so I'll block and... Before damage, I'll pay to Cosmic Intervention. So if a permanent I control would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield this turn, exile it instead, and then at okay. the end step it returns. All right, and then there is a trigger I have because technically I'm attacking you before Skylar's out. So yep. Brina will trigger. I'm going to put two counters on Sunscorch Regions and draw a yep. card. Yeah, so then Raynar will die he'll see himself get exiled, and I'll get a spirit token. Okay. Um, second main phase, I'm going to play a swamp because I haven't played a land for turn. And then um, the Cropples region will also trigger, and I can put he did 36 damage, so it'll put 36 counters on a creature of my choice. I'm going to put them on Brita. Yep. So we're just going to do this. So Brina is a 37, 39. And I will pass untapping victory chimes. Alright, so he'll return 
Untap draw. Land for turn. Uh, I'll pay three for Flicker Wisp, which will exile Raynar until the end phase. So I'll get a spirit. And then I will tap for three. Doomscar, destroy all creatures. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Hey, um, Dylan. Yep. Does that look familiar? Uh, not really. Wait, who played the? Oh, that was who Corey. played the Ezer? Corey. Yeah. Yeah, you played. Never mind. Does that look familiar? It does. <laughs> and then I'll pass turn, and radar comes back. Okay, I will untap. <clears throat> Draw. Put out Swamp for turn. Um, I'm going to tap for... Four. Okay, I'm going to tap for four and two hybrid Orzovs. Or I'm sorry, three hybrid Orzovs. I'm going to bring out Debtor's Now. It's an enchantment that at the beginning of my upkeep, I can put target creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under my control. Um, and then your bird that I have in exile, how much does that cost? Uh, he's a four. And does that have like an ETB or anything? Nope. Well, I'm just going to pay four and now I put that bird on my side of the field. Okay, he's a three, three flyer. Okay, uh, I'm going to combat Citadel Siege will activate, so he's going to get two 1-1 one -one counters. Okay. So he's a 5-5 five -five flyer. Uh, and then I will pass turn. Yep. This will be that bird. How about that? So he's a 5-5 five -five flyer. Uh, I'm going to pay for Return to Dust to destroy your enchantment that brings things back from the graveyard. Debtor's now? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, you're able to rebuild your board faster than I can, and I got to go to bed, so I'm just going <laughs> to concede. Okay. At least it was at sorcery speed. Respectable. Yes, very respectful. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> it is getting late, so we will wrap this up very quickly. Uh, huge shout out to Karak Control MTG for joining us today. It was a lot of fun. Got to test my new deck. It was a lot of fun. Um, got taken out by a primordial Hydra, you know, as yeah, it goes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, as may, is right in the world. I'm, I may or may not have made a bad play early in the game. <clears throat> But whatever. Oh, uh, I would say you definitely did. But hey, that who's to really say? <laughs> but um, thanks guys for checking out the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Have a great night. Later.